the new Civic Engagement for Reconciliation program, Engage, hosted its first event at the Fulbright Centre in Nicosia. The event was historic as it brought together for the first time civil society groups, representatives of the political leaders from the two communities, and influential individuals from Cyprus, Turkey and Greece. Civil society organisations in no way can substitute the negotiating team under the guidance of the leadership but they can be a supporting and mobilizing force who has interest to be heard in the process. A strong civil society creates an environment where all views are expressed freely, are clearly heard and considered. The new program seeks to enhance the role of civil society in the reconciliation process. We cannot expect that social reconciliation will appear as a magic outcome of the solution. It is a deeper process that touches upon the greatest sensitivities of the Cypriot people, both Greek Cypriots and Turkish Cypriots. It is a process that would undoubtedly facilitate in the prospect of a settlement the real reunification of our people. This is why we see with satisfaction and optimism the efforts already being undertaken by representatives of civil society and the academic community in order to engage actively in this real, really vital process of reconciliation and peace. Participating in NGO work creates its own positive energy, I believe and it enables us to inspire and be inspired. To do work which we cannot do by ourselves, to overcome problems which seem insurmountable on our own. Such activities offer a platform of free thinking and enables us to think out of the box to solve our problems. I found myself in political life as a result of such a journey. Looking back, I have fond memories of the heated debates we had with our Greek Cypriot uh, counterparts and even sometimes among ourselves. Sometimes uh, we thought these um, debates led to nowhere, but in fact the truth is they got me to where I am today and I believe our communities where they are today. So the formula I think as these vital talks are ongoing is not to rest and wait but to do what you are doing now and to accelerate, in fact, civil society contacts in order to get subliminally and otherwise messages to the leaders. Move. Society is here for you. What has happened in the past was terribly painful. So you do not forget about it, but try to forgive and try a new start. Uh, we need really the support of the civil society. But also we need something else, public diplomacy, which has been missing so much. Why a settlement is needed? Why some concessions have to be made? Why we need a solution which is acceptable to everybody? So, so what is good is good. And I hope that the two leaders will find a solution which is satisfactory. Thank you very much. The Engage event also provided a unique opportunity for members of civil society groups to present their concerns and raise key questions to the panel and distinguished guests. Over the years that I've been doing by communal work, what I discovered is that what goes on at the macro level, at the decision making level, does not reach very uh, easily to the societal level. And the micro level, the societal level, does not recognize very often the constraints that the decision-making level uh, faces. So we really need to create a linkage here, uh, in channels of um, communication. In my view, if we reunite with a sound and fair solution which integrates the economy, allows free trade, joint business enterprises within maximum 10 years, the gap can be halved. And in absolute terms, it will mean a big rise in incomes and standards of living. So the economic and socioeconomic aspect is very important 
and the business cooperation as well is very important in accelerating both socioeconomic development as well as bridging the gap. Thank you. The Engage event is probably best summed up by the statement from the UN Special Representative in Cyprus, Chief of Mission, Tayeb Brook Zerihun, about the role of civil society in the peace process. The work of peace is a work of partnership that must engage everyone. It's often argued, is it not, that peace is too important to be left to politicians alone. There are no universal recipes or fail-proof prescriptions for the work you propose to do to help bring about peace and reconciliation. But there are experiences from around the world to draw on. Your work during this crucial stage of the peace process will be challenging but also equally rewarding. We at the United Nations will follow it with great interest and provide all the support we can. Of that, you can rest assured. I thank you.